Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today we're going to we're going to take a look at an idea that I've had for a long time on implementing a way to prevent your rims that you store underneath your pickup truck. Now, how many of you have pickup trucks and you got this rim, the spare tire is underneath the back of your bed and it sits there for years and years and years. And if you live up north like I do with all the salt it just corrodes the rim right to pieces, fills the rim full of uh, gravel and dirt, depending on where you uh, live and if you go on off-road at all. But it just fills it full of dirt and corrodes the rim to the point where the first place I've noticed that it corrodes is around the bead. And you'll see how it'll go underneath the bead. The rust will continue until you've got a slow leak. So I decided to try something I want to have some feedback here. You guys let me know what you think. I'm going to give you a real good close up of what I'm doing here. And you let me know whether you think this is a viable idea. Because, of course, I'm not using this on on road, you know, like all my tires and everything else. I'm just trying it out on the spare tire. And I've tried it out on one of my trailers for up north that I use going back and forth into the bush. So, I'm going to show you the products that I've used and the reason why and you let me know if you think this is a good idea or not because in my experience well I've seen my share of spare tires that drop down you know if you get a flat tire on your pickup truck well first of all most of them don't even have any air in them because they've never put any air in them for like 10 years and if you live in the north where there's lots of salt guess what it's so corroded that uh, well, you couldn't leave any air in them if you tried anyways because, uh, you know, the rim is just destroyed from all the salt that's sat up there for years. So let's take a look at this and see exactly what I'm doing and whether it's a good idea and whether you think you would implement this idea too because I'm trying it out here. Let's see what you think. Well, let's just take a look at the first product on the right. It's called Rust Check. And for all of you that uh, live in other countries, well, I only use this type of rust check. It's called Coat and Protect. And uh, a similar product that is just as good is called Fluid Film. But the reason why I like this one is I find it, it dries a lot better and it's half the price compared to uh, Fluid Film. But uh, on the left hand side is just your regular black silicone that you would use outdoors, you know, for caulking. And uh, if you take a look uh, in between the both of them at the bottom, you'll see that's the lock cylinder that goes in the back of a pickup truck to prevent anybody from stealing your spare tire, I guess. I don't know exactly who would, but uh, the only thing I do to them when I get a new vehicle is I put some silicone paste or silicone grease around the gasket that goes all the way around there because there is a gasket to keep the dirt out. And in my experience over the years, well, the first time you try to take that out, it is so tough to get out. And now, they don't even give you a real key on a vehicle. It's like one of these uh, keys that you kind of slide out of your key fob. And that key don't look that durable to me compared to an old-fashioned key. So you really want to make sure that you have some kind of a lubricant going around the seals so you can actually pull that thing out if you do get a flat. So let's take a look at the rim and see exactly what I've done using these two products and the reason why. So here's the rim after I've sprayed it. Now I sprayed this yesterday so I let it sit there for 24 hours. But the first thing I did before I sprayed it was apply the silicone caulking all the way around the bead that goes from the tire to the steel rim. And that's where all the corrosion happens and I'll just uh, wipe a little piece off here so you can see. You see right there? I'm just wiping it off here. And I wanted to leave it there to see if it reacted somehow to it, but it doesn't. It doesn't react at all to it. And here we've got just the uh, black silicone sealer. I applied it all the way around and then I smoothed it out with my finger and let it dry. Now, of course, you can see on the top right there, I can put down 45 PSI because the tire when it was shipped to me from the factory was the same as all the other tires, 35 PSI. 
The rating on this tire goes up to 45 PSI. So of course I put 45 in there and I put a uh, just a yellow chalk mark that'll stay on there forever. It's tire chalk and every year when I check the tire pressure, I know exactly how much to put in, right? So when you're taking a look at your, your spare tire, the first thing, like I said before, is this is where the corrosion all happens, right in here, right on the bead. But another spot that I found was just incredible by helping my friends that couldn't even get their spare tire out from beneath the uh, vehicle was there's a cone that goes in here. Now imagine this is inverted upside down because this is what you'll see from the bottom of your truck. Now I already sprayed the inside as well, like the bottom side, and I put the, uh, the sealer in there as well. But there's a cone that goes in here that lifts it up and holds it tight to the bed. I've seen where that cone is rusted in there so bad that you actually need to have a hammer with you to pop that back out because it's, it's rusted so bad to the inside of your rim. Also, all the bolt holes here that go through or the studs for your uh, wheels, I've seen them completely covered over with corrosion and dirt and gravel and mud and you name it because you see how this is all opened up here? You're going down a road and all the gravel, the dirt and everything will go in there, bounce around and settle right on the bottom here. Yeah, I've seen it so bad here where you can't even mount your tire because there's so much stuff on the back side, on the inside, and this will help with the, uh, with the adhesion of all this stuff trying to stick to your rim, you know, and especially the salt. It'll repel the salt. Now, I've used this product for at least 20 years, and I will not have to reapply this. I could take this rim out in say two years and just wash it all out, this product will not wash off. A lot of other products like rust, rust preventative products, they'll all wash off. This here will not wash off at all and it won't stay sticky and gooey on your hands and that kind of stuff. Now when I first install it in the truck now, yeah, I'm gonna have to put some rubber gloves on. Then after I mount it up in the truck, I'll spray the hub on the outside as well. I've already sprayed the uh, the ratchet mechanism that lifts the rim all the way up to the truck, including the cable that goes in there. So this is the idea behind this. And I am, I am positive that there is no problem putting this silicone sealer between the metal rim and the rubber tire to seal it all the way along. So it just doesn't have a chance for the moisture to get in here and just rot out the rim and cause a leak. Well, thanks for joining me here today. Leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think about this idea. And uh, like I say, if I've implemented on uh, one of my rims, on my tires up at my camp, where I have a, a trailer that goes back in the bush all the time for firewood. And the one thing I noticed is, yeah, the inside, not the outside, but it's the inside that just pack with all kinds of mud and corrosion not the outside as much, but you know, when you think about it, preventing the corrosion from starting, you know, it, I think is a good idea. Uh, you know, like this is a spare tire. So, I mean, it has been balanced. I don't know if I've disturbed the balance or not, but you know, for the amount of time that I would use a spare tire, uh, you know, I really can't see that being a problem. And if you're wondering, you know, why is this ATV here? Well, it's not my ATV. A tree jumped out in front of my buddy's ATV and boom. So I'm straightening out the frame. <laughs> That's the project for the day here. But uh, I think this is a viable option for people that, you know, buy a new pickup truck or a used pickup truck and they, they pull down their spare tire and they see how corroded it is. Well, at that point, what do you do, right? All you can do is try to prevent it from being more corrosive. I would say that if you pull the rim down and it's that corroded, I would just spray the product instead of the uh, silicone sealer. I'd spray this product or another rust proofing product to slow down the corrosion because once it starts, well, you know, all you're going to do is embed, you know, the corrosion on the rim. Oh. So, I don't know. I think it's a good option. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And uh, I will take this spare tire out in the years to come and show you 
you know, as time progresses. Because I guarantee you, in the middle of the winter, you know, like when it's, you know, 20 and 30 below, it's just crusted full of ice and salt and everything else in there. Plus, when I put 45 PSI in there, if I were to go out at minus 30 and check the, the, the pressure, I'm lucky if I've got 30 to maybe 32 pounds. So as it gets cold, yeah, the pressure will drop. So that's why I put a little extra pressure in there as well. So thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again, have some more fun, and see some interesting projects that I do, a little bit of experiments that I do, and uh, follow along as time goes by and see how these experiments actually work out. Cheers.